Hello, service dog. Do you currently have a service dog? And what type of dog is it? Thank you, service dog. Hello, Mr. Tun. Yeah, Great Danes are a very good, lovable, lovable giants. Thank you for sharing. So I have a lot of toys out here for them, and I uh, they're playing right now. They cho they're choosing to play with a piece of garbage, uh, the cardboard piece from the uh, toilet paper roll. That's actually what they're fighting over. Yeah, it disappeared somewhere. One of them must have hit it. Now they're playing soccer, puppy soccer. Yes, they are for sale. I currently have four. I have a litter of nine, but so far four are available. And you can go to www.goldilockspoodles.com or you can send me a message or text me to find out more. That guy in the corner right there, he's available. Oh no, that's not a guy, that's a girl. Stop screaming. I'm, I'm talking. I'm That's a girl. She's she's taken. That dark male. He's available. The dark one. Um, he's red, but when I shaved him down a little, it was a little lighter. So my litters are supposed to be red and apricot, but he looks like he's going to be cafe late. But he does have a red halo in him. But he's, he's a very pretty color, masculine face. Now this is a true red girl. She's taken, sorry, I thought she was her brother. Her brother, I only have really two true reds in a litter. That's, that's Lucy, she's taken. She's already sold. They're, her family's already in love with her. There's no way she's going anywhere else. And now the other two, that are for sale. Hey, 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 the other ones. Okay, he's for sale. This is aqua. He's listed as aqua flower. And I, I shaved a stripe on his back to differentiate him from his brother who's in the same. They, they are very similar. That's my hair. That's my hair. So he's for sale. This is aqua color, collar male. They don't have their collars on anymore because they keep ripping them off. Mm -hmm. So I can tell them apart. And if I do have trouble, I do a little something to make sure I can tell them apart. I'm going to microchip them either between tonight and tomorrow. So everybody definitely knows what what puppy they're getting but they're like my children i can just tell them all. uh service dog you, are you serious uh just give me a call or go to my website uh they're already potty trained to go into the litter box but I'm going to start taking them outside soon. They have um, they have bladder and bowel control now because I, I put them in a in a kennel when I'm cleaning out their their play and their when I'm cleaning out their living area I put them in a kennel and when they're in a kennel they don't have any accidents and as soon as I take them out and put them in the area they go to the litter box. You love. Look, you box for me. That's the litter box that the puppy is in right now. Why? 
It's that yesy. And take a ball. And take a ball, Mom. Uh, Each puppy is $2,500. That, that's the going rate for my puppies. Um, my mentor, in which I do have some of uh, my dire and saint fame, come from some of her lineage. Her puppies go for five thousand. So my puppies are half the cost of. Um, they're half the cost of my uh, my mentors, but basically the same health. In temperament because she is so good that I listen to everything that she says because my my dire and sayings my dire and Dane sire and Dane their mother and father are outstanding their mother and father are um, outside in the backyard right now get getting a break <laughs> they are two thousand five hundred dollars Thank you. That's their mother's food that she didn't eat, but they they may eat some of her food when they're ready. Service dog, they're $2,500, yes. And guess what? I'm not turning a profit by selling this litter. That's how much I put into them as far as picking out the right lineage, doing all health testing. Um, the health testing is expensive. And then also, these my, my dogs eat better than I do. So I make sure I feed them the best food. I feed them life abundance. On top of that, I give them some supplements and vitamins. And then they get string beans and broccoli. And sometimes I cook up some, some beef liver or some ground meat for them. And I do. And it's, it's very expensive raising them in the vet bills. So two thousand five hundred that's not asking a lot for a purebred that i put money into um making sure that i can produce dogs in which i can promise uh, uh and have a really good health guarantee when they get home to their their new forever homes So you wouldn't spend two thousand five hundred on a purebred standing poodle? Hey, guy, don't eat paper. Do not eat paper. Yeah, Give it to me. What's wrong, Mama? My ear. The puppy scratch your ear? Okay. All right, stay up there, and he won't be able to get you. They're trying to get on the couch. In a couple of weeks, they'll be able to jump up, up, jump up on the couch. I will say about another month. I am selling them for that much. Guess how much it took? Me? It's it's expensive. Just like I said, I am not getting a profit for selling them at two thousand five hundred dollars. 
And just like I said, I'm selling them for 2,500. My mentor sells hers for 5,000. Lucy. Her name is Lucy. They are standard poodles. They will get somewhere between 45 and 55 pounds. The dad now weighs 55 pounds, but he's only, he'll turn three in November. So by the time he's like maybe five years old, he may weigh something somewhere in the 60s. You know how we gain a little weight when we get a little older, right? Let all that energy out because in the next 10 minutes, you're going, they're all going to sit down. It looks like it's starting. They're burning out. Keep the zoomies. Zoom back and forth. Just you yet. A sale. Located in um, Bolverde, Texas. Yes, sweetheart. It did. What did you do? Uh, Bolverde, Texas is about ooh. 30 miles north of San Antonio, mm -hmm. Texas. Oh, this fella is burned out. He's tired. All he can do is just watch. He's tired. He's going to go to sleep. He's going to sleep. He's going to sleep? Yes, he's going to sleep. Pink collar, pink tail. Well, she used the pink collar on the website, but I gave her a pink tail to tell the difference between her and her sister. Um, yeah, she's high energy. Her sister is not as high energy as she is. She runs the place. They're getting tired. By little, I don't want to traumatize him, so I took his hair really, really short. Basically, just took it all down, and I, right now I just need to clean up his haircut. But the rest of them did pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
groomed. They, they've all been groomed at least twice since they've been born. At like five weeks, I, I did their face. And then by six and seven weeks, I did their whole body. So if you like it, send me a like. Don't chew on my couch. The more likes I get, the more I will log on to allow you to see these puppies grow and play. But I need to know it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. I need to know if people want to see it. If they don't want to see it, then I won't broadcast it. It hurts your ear, mommy. Yeah, puppy hurts your ear. Let me see. Let me give it a kiss. I love you. I hurt the puppy. You hurt the puppy? Mm -hmm. Give the puppy a kiss for me. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> of Wednesday and uh, I usually keep them until they're 10 weeks old hey get off my couch stop chewing on my couch I usually keep them until they're 10 weeks old I have a, a pet proof this couch is supposed to be pet proof material and it's it, so far it is working but I'm quite sure just like with anything if they keep working on it it will come loose put my pillow back hey you you no 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 don't chew on my couch chew, yeah. thank you for the likes i love it yeah, as you can see her pores are not damaging the disinfectant on it that doesn't um, ruin the material of the couch <clears throat> but yeah it can they can cause damage if you don't watch them that's mommy's food why are you eating mommy's food that's not your food that's mommy's food Mm -hmm. Put that pillow back, little girl. Okay. Oh, Ouch, that's my toe. That is my toe. Leave my toe alone. Shut <laughs> out the noise, Pink. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Hey, Lucy. You so happy, Lucy. Say hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Uh happy Lucy, mommy. Bye, Yucky. I love you too. So this is Pink and Lucy trying to get on the couch. Thank you, sweetheart. I love you. And we have the two boys roughhousing over there. And then we have... Just like I said, if you like what you see, then send us some likes. Stop chewing on my couch. That's how you end up in a puppy pound.
sure you're still there because I'm freezing. It's freezing for me on this side every now and again. And yes, they are potty trained. We'll, we'll start going outside in a couple of days. My phone. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mm -mm. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. You will not attack me. Attack me. So as you see, some of them are very tired. So I'm about to put them back into their their little uh, area and give them a break. And we'll go back on probably at about eight o'clock Central Time. That's after I, um, because I'm going to be there. Click kennel out at about 7. And once I'm done, I'll let them run around before they go back into their kennel. No, it's not a kennel. It's a play area. A living area, play area. Thank you so much for the likes. Bye-bye.